Obviously, Anime Champions Update 2 came out. I'm going to be completing the update in one video as fast as possible. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just get into it. I started the update by exploring the map. I killed the first barrier, which was really easy. And for some reason, I killed a 600 million HP enemy. Honestly, I don't know why. I feel kind of bad. I found the quest for the area, and honestly, his first quest was kind of easy. So I turned on auto attack and finished it really fast. He gave me a few movement tokens or something, to be honest. I don't really know. But then I had to kill 10 of these guys. Honestly, I don't know who this guy is either. But yeah, I did that really fast as well. I completed that quest, and he also gave me three more movement tokens. Then I think I needed to kill three of like the mini boss. I don't know how to say his name, but yeah, it's this dude. And he's also pretty easy to kill. I checked the shop and found this. Wait, what is his ultimate aura? Let's go ahead and buy this. You know, let's just do it. There you go. Here it is. Let's go ahead and equip this. Uh, does it even do anything else? Oh, okay, I think that was useless. The quest gave me five movement tokens. The quest guy suddenly disappeared and he actually opened the door for us. How fun is that? Anyway, I continued to work my way through the map and found this massive weird tower looking thing. And of course, I went inside, which brought me to a place up here and the quest guy was back. I have to kill this a hundred times? 60 billion health? What the? Why is that so much? Anyway, without hesitation, I headed over to the new orb and started auto-fusing into my best unit straight away. I popped now of every boost I had, coins, damage, luck, and drop. I decided to open for a few minutes to see how much XP he would get from level 90. And yeah, he got a lot of XP. He went from level 90 to 92 in that short time. I noticed he had a robot leaderboard and went to check it out because I had spent 200,000 robots in this game and none of it saved. Anyway, completely out of rage, I went back to hatching to go ahead and get a level 100 unit, which was going really well. I got him to level 90 and then they shut down the servers. And when I came back to check what I got, this happened. Oh, I already got a cosmic. Wait, spirit summon. I just got a second one. What the hell? Wait, they really did make it easier. Just go summon some. It looks like that's Kizuki and it's actually a 50% chance. Oh, that's so helpful. Okay, who are we going to get? Please, can we get someone good? And yeah, we got him. We got the new guy. All right, let's go ahead and summon one more. Hopefully we can get two. I really want to double ascend this guy like as soon as possible. All right, it's not godly, unfortunately, but hopefully we get another one. And do we? No, we don't. We get another Gojo, but that's fine because we can use it as essence. Wow, we already got one. That's so cool. Let's go ahead and transform into him. Yo, wait, this is actually fire. Right, so pretty much, I had almost completed the update already. I had got the cosmic. I had almost got level 100 unit. All I had to do was beat the impossible rate. Anyway, I got my level 100 champion and it was 13 million stats. Your bro stats are 13 million. Dude, we're actually killing him so fast, but what I want to try is the new raid. Spirit Town Impossible. Let's try this. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of scared. Honestly, I was right to be. The star enemies had 10 billion health. Like, how is this even possible? This guy almost had 40 billion health. Anyway, I quickly went through these first stages, which did take me almost three minutes to do. I opened the door into the second area, and honestly, it was just the same thing over and over. But about eight minutes later, I finally got to the first chest. Basically, impossible chests give 100 and one medals. Now drop teams don't affect this, but it's still really overpowered. But that means I also lost half my time. I quickly ran back and carried on grinding through and finally got to the first mini boss. This guy had 250 billion health. It took me like just over three minutes to beat this one guy. And honestly, the rewards are so bad. I got 14 medals from him. Yeah, I'm not beating that mode. Alright, this update is 7 out of 10.